Hey YouTube, Mech here with the Battle Bryopsis video. Um, not a whole lot's changed since the last dose. Um, I am getting uh, some more uh, diatoms uh, down at the bottom there. Uh, I'm probably going to do another water change um, just to try and lower whatever is is causing a, the phosphates or, you know, I don't know. But, well, I'm going to do another water change. But I noticed something uh, last night while I was uh, shooting the Beginner to Aquariums video. And I don't know what it is. And I don't know if it's something to be of concern. So on my toadstool, there is something coming off of it and I don't know what it is. If you have had experience and you know what this is, please you know, message me, comment. Um, I, I, I'm not really sure what it is or why it's there. I, I'm sure you can kind of see it. It's kind of this milky, stringy, semi-transparent, I don't know what it is. Uh, I, I really don't. I don't know if my coral is suffering, uh, if it's uh, getting ready to propagate. Uh, I, I don't know what that is, uh, to be honest. Um, and it's a little concerning. I don't want to remove it. Um, but also, if, if something's going on, uh, I need to get that addressed. Um, if you've seen this before, definitely comment let me know what this is I'm I am completely stumped as to what that is um, that is very very odd to me um, I've never seen anything like this on this toadstool before um, so uh, for those that are more experienced uh, please definitely let me excuse me let me know what you think this is or if you've got a very good idea of what this is uh, it, it is uh, it has got me uh, on a little bit of an alert <laughs> to say the least uh, uh, so yeah the I'm I'm I was quite surprised to see it and wasn't really sure what it was um, didn't want to do anything rash until I know what it's doing, why it's doing it. Uh, maybe it's a good thing, maybe it's a bad thing. Uh, I really don't know and I, I, I don't want to jump to conclusions and do something rash or um, irresponsible. So uh, if you have an idea and you know what this is, please let me know. Uh, I am very interested in knowing what is happening with this particular coral. Uh, but that being said, we will dose the next round in. Um, I don't think that the chemical, the, the vibrant, is causing this because this is the first time I've seen it since I've been dosing this. Um, it, it is very very odd. Uh, the only other thing that I have done to this tank recently was added some carbon. Uh, that is it. So I, I can't see that carbon would be causing that. Um, yeah, I'm I'm at a complete loss. I don't I don't understand what that could be. Um, it is very weird. It, it almost looks like it's got uh, fins. <laughs> like, uh, it is the most bizarre thing I think I've ever seen. You know, if it's propagating, if it's growing, you know, cool. If it's receding, you know, I need to know why. Uh, I need to know what to test for. I need to know what I can do to uh, correct that. Um, so again, uh, definitely leave me a comment. Uh, let me know what what you guys think. Uh, I am I am 
definitely on uh, on a high alert with that. Uh, sorry, my glass is a little dirty. So, I mean, you can clearly see there there's something definitely coming off of this particular coral. All of the other corals are fine. Uh, I'm, I'm not noticing anything like this on any other coral. This is the only coral where something odd is going on. Uh, so, yeah, um, please, please comment. Uh, please let me know what this is. Uh, shoot me a message, shoot me a, a comment. Uh, th this is very interesting. Um, I've had this coral for uh, well over a year, um, probably closer to a year and a half, and uh, this is uh, this is something new uh, that has, I've never seen before. And it's not coming off. It is it is like it's attached to it. Now I don't want to be reaching in there and and grabbing a hold of this and pulling it off and yeah, that's that's not something I want to do especially if um, if it's going to harm the coral so anyway thanks for watching hit that subscribe button uh, I hopefully I get an answer uh, as soon as I do I will uh, relay the answers that I get um, especially if you guys don't know what it is either uh, if I get an answer uh, I will definitely pass that along uh, it is very very weird <laughs> this, this is probably uh, a top five weird moment for my tank uh, top five totally uh, it, it, it might be closer to top three never seen anything like this before uh, very very bizarre uh, it has not moved. Um, as you can see, it is blowing around in the current. Um, very, very odd. Uh, one thing that I noticed um, the other day, and I, I found that kind of odd too, was um, all of this was retracted in at the top here. And the top looked very... I don't know any other way to describe it. Um, and it, this is this might sound weird, considering the environment that it's in. It looked wet. <laughs> I again don't know any other way to describe it. It was very shiny, uh, very reflective. Um, it. it, it lack of a better way of me describing it it looked like it was wet um, I know it's in a, it's in an aquarium it's underwater um, I, I get that uh, I just don't know of any other way to describe the way it looked um, but the whole top was very 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 shiny um, and reflective I mean you can see the shimmer of it uh, under the lights uh, and then last night um, is when I noticed the the stringy stuff coming off of it so uh, I'm just a little concerned of what might be going on um, I don't know what it is um, any help in this would would be very 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 grateful um, but Battle Braps just continues um, not seeing any like new growth in the probably the more troubling areas um, haven't really seen any receding um, I've still tried to um, pull some of this and it is still very much embedded in the rock so it is it is well planted itself uh, down into that rock but uh, right now I think my main concern now is this coral. Uh, if it's releasing something, you know, toxic into the tank, I need to get it removed uh, so it doesn't uh, harm other inhabitants. Uh, it, if it's uh, needs assistance, you know, it's dying or whatever, I, I need to know why. Uh, if it's uh, propagating, then I'm doing something right. I'd like to know what I did. Um, so that I can continue doing it, uh, you know, 
I, I want to know what this is uh, so that I can um, better arm myself uh, to dealing with it um, whichever way it goes um, so please 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 let me know what you guys uh, know about this uh, if anything um, somebody knows something about this so this this cannot be unique to my tank uh, I truly don't believe that this is unique um, I think this is something probably natural what that is I don't know um, so if you don't know but you might know somebody that does have them look at this video have them look at this see what they think uh, and then pass that information on to me so I can pass this on to other people uh, so we can kind of share this knowledge and uh, when it happens again in somebody else's tank or my tank uh, you know we know what it is why why it's happening and what we can do to correct that uh, if needed so thanks again thanks for watching thanks for subscribing uh, have a great afternoon and uh, I will be working on the rest of my beginner series and uh, going with that. Alright, have a great day. Later.